Hey guys, I'm gonna teach you how to play Brain Stew, one of the easiest power chord songs, easiest rock songs in general. So I'm gonna zoom in, show you just the basic three parts, and stick around for the end. I'm gonna give you a really cool bonus tip. Uh, so I hope you stay for that. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Well, let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is get down to E flat tuning. E flat tuning is important for this song. You can technically do it without it, but it's gonna make it way harder and it won't quite sound the same, so I'll have to move some octave up. Point is, get to E flat tuning. That should be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and high E flat. Okay, so now that you're there, let's go ahead and play some power chords. The first thing, let me just go ahead and run it first. So it's really comprised of four measures. The whole song is really just a four measure loop. Check it out though, here's what it is. It's gonna be the fifth fret bar chord, it's an A bar chord. Technically I know it's a little A flat five, but the point is it's gonna be one, two on the fifth fret. I'm doing down strums for both that driving kind of Green Day punk rhythm. Then I'm going down, that's, that's measure one, done, right? Measure two is a G power chord, third fret. Twice, same thing. Measure three is an F sharp power chord, twice. It's the second fret. So fifth fret, third fret, second fret, and then it's the last measure is shared with an F E. Okay, do you catch that? F, E. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to E. Right? Now in between all of those, what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of muting. My left hand's relaxing. Right? So I'm just relaxing that hand. Right? And then I'm also using my right hand to grab all the strings. And I do it both at the same time to get it tight. Okay, that's a judo chop on top of the strings. Just cuts them, cuts them dead. And I'm relaxing here at the same time. So here it is one more time. Okay, and that's most of the song right there. Now that pretty much takes care of the majority of the song. And then all of a sudden this part comes in uh, kind of this nice little interlude in between verses. And what that is, is the exact same progression. The whole thing is the same, except now I'm gonna do it with a down up. I'm gonna go. Really noisy. And then back. So I'm doing down ups, still just two strikes on every, you know, on the chords here. But what I'm going to do is down up, so I get this really nice kind of metally punk rock noisy sound. Just down up on the chord, and then I relax that hand. I just right. So that first way of muting with the left hand, we're doing that, but not with the right hand. With the right hand, we're just going to get noisy. It's going to be one E and a, two E and a, right. Right, so we'll we'll think about this and uh, we'll kind of simplify this a little bit and think about everything in one measure like I was saying before. So one and two and three and four and okay, just relaxing here. Down to the G. One and two and three and four and down to F sharp. One and two and three and four and and then my F and E will share that measure. One and two and three. Now that's a little bit harder to do. That E power chord is open, and then second fret A, right? And you can do a little second fret D if you want. And then my, the rest of my three fingers will clamp down here to do a little muting. Okay? And so what I'm doing there is a little bit more than just that. That E pushes me back to the A. So I'm muting as I'm traveling back up to A. So it's uh, officially it's gonna go. That's the hardest part of the whole thing, is that little muty spot where I'm still playing, and I get back to my A. So here it is in a loop. Did you 
catch it. So that'll take a little practice. That's something you have to work on. And that covers most of the song right there. It's just kind of in between those two parts. Now, what happens on the end is going to be kind of a bigger, louder kind of a, a way of doing it. I'm going to give you a very easy way of doing it. I'm not going to give you the crazy extra noise stuff. Uh, so that way it's just easy to play, sounds great, and it works. So here's what it is. It's actually going to be the exact same chords, exact same everything, except now we're just beating it up. There's no muting, there's no tricks, it's just slamming it. So that little rotation of chords will actually go six times on the end. And I'm really emphasizing, so I've been technically counting it in like kind of with eighth notes as if each one of these is a measure. Technically speaking, it's really, uh, you know, these guys are a little bit different than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you how I want you to think about this, okay? So we're gonna keep it with our eighth note kind of thought process and we're gonna basically pound all the threes. Uh, okay, so. So one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three. See, I'm hitting that three a little harder. Okay. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two So hope that's making sense. I'm kind of simplifying some things for you guys. Now, if you're getting that pretty comfortable and you're just driving it through and everything's pretty easy, you can, let me give you a little bonus tip, you can do this extra string noise. I'm just kind of, kind of splashing these top two notes, maybe even the third a little bit. But I'm really trying to hit that, the higher two string. And that's basically it. You can also add that in there if you want, just as a fun bonus. And then the song just ends on an A. So the last bit is going. Thank you so much, you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate your viewership. I'll see you in the next video.